difference, the value I create has to be created in your mind rather than me just throwing what I believe the value should be. Welcome back. I've got with me Dean Kelly. Dean's the deal mechanic. What's a deal mechanic? A deal mechanic pulls deals apart in their pre-existing form and puts them back together to run more smoothly, create more value, and allow my clients to capture a greater share of the value that's on the table. Okay, that makes sense. So you're a sales deal mechanic. Yes, sales deal mechanic. Okay. Dean, I know you talk a lot about value in the context of the deal. Yes. And, and how important it is when it comes to negotiating the deal. It's a hackney term. What do you mean by value? What's your definition? Good question, John. This is a question that comes up a lot because people bandy around this concept of value. So in my world, I talk about value as being relative to the client's alternative to you. So the client in any deal could go and do it themselves, they could do nothing, or they could be going with one of your or many of your competitors. So to me, value is your contribution, your differentiation relative to what they could get through any of those different alternative strategies. But it's value from a perception of the client within the context of their business. It's not what you think it is. Correct. And this is one of the biggest mistakes that are made by salespeople that they come back and say, oh, but I showcased my value to the client. Well, you telling the client about the value is not the same as asking the client in the context of their business um, and, and effectively putting a value on it in the context of the business. So it's very customer orientated. It's very much from the client's perspective. And that's the measure of value that I use as a deal mechanic. And I've heard you talk about this in the terms of a poker game. So you really need the sale, the, the customer to express the value rather than you express the value. Absolutely. The, isn't that one of the things? We, we are brought up in sales to think that selling is about how good you are at telling. And in actual fact, in the world of challenger, selling's about asking. So, I mean, if we if we go through the store, and I've got I've got some uh, coinage here to kind of use it. If if I've got my chips at the table, or you've got your chips, and we're playing poker, for me to win a share of your money, where does the money have to move to? Into the pot, of course. Yeah. So I need to get you to to put a value on our conversation, on the capability, on the 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 ability to reduce the resourcing or the ability to improve the total cost of ownership or drive more rapid ROI, I need you to put a value on it. And in my conversation, if I've got a $60, a $60,000, a $6 million solution, I'm conscious that I must get a lot more of than that on the table in value. Right. So hence, the value I create has to be created in your mind rather than me just throwing what I believe the value should be. Okay, so, uh, so I, uh, that's a good definition. And, and, and I've always said it's got to be the value from the customer's perception. Yep. Uh, but so what you're saying is the customer actually has to express that before you ever express it. Don't you tell the customer what the value is. Make sure you draw the customer out on expressing what the value is. Yes. Great. Love the, love the concept. <laughs> Look forward to talking to you again. Thank you, John.